it's time to put a lead on that introduction that we made. And to do that, I want to show you loop record. In the recording process, we could lay down a take in this space and then lay down a second take. And for that, we use playlists. It's much more efficient than creating a separate track for each individual take that we want to lay down. So playlists are over here in this triangle next to the track name. And to make a new playlist, you choose that. You can duplicate a playlist. You can use playlists by themselves, but they're very handy when you put Pro Tools into Loop Record. And let me show you how to do that. I do notice a problem here. My tempo changes to 120. I think I wasn't paying close enough attention when I changed the tempo earlier. So let's fix that. Let's put the end at one, say apply, and then the 120 will go away. It'll be 130 all the way till the end of time now. I know what I want to play here at the beginning. It's a four bar phrase. I'm going to select four bars here. And then in options, I'm going to put Pro Tools into loop record. Not only do I have a loop on the playback button now, I have a loop on the record button as well. Let's think this through and then we'll watch it happen. We think that Pro Tools is going to record here. And when it gets to the end of bar four, it's going to go back and record again. And then where is it going to store those? Well, it's going to store them in playlists, which we'll look at later. So let's watch that happen now. I'm going to switch my input and play this part. Now I have four guitar parts and I can choose any one of those. Let's say that I thought I really nailed it on number three. Let's hear just a little bit more of guitar. Maybe the easiest way to do that is to jump over here, show the IO. That's my send, here's my volume. A little bit of ring out on this with a little reverb wouldn't hurt. Might be better to elevate its clip volume too. And notice that little flamming that we were worried about with that rhythm guitar part earlier. It's kind of gone now, right? That's how to choose an entire performance from a playlist.